All right, we're back with Weather for Weather Geeks on this Tuesday evening. Only one more day to go in the month of May. And what a month it has been. It started out cold and damp, and it's ending hot and really, really dry. We had a high of 85 today, not quite as warm as Monday's reading at 88. Hard to believe that the month will go into the record books as cooler than the average by a degree or so. Uh, mostly because of how cold it was early in the month. In fact, the coldest May 2nd on record with a high of 44 that day. Uh, but we've had a lot of warmth in recent times, but it's not going to be enough to erase kind of the deficit that we ran up in the temperature department during that first week of the month. All right, beautiful, beautiful space station flyby this evening. I'll put a reminder on social media during the 8 o'clock hour, but this is one of our highest and brightest uh, passes with great weather that we've had in some time. This begins in the northwest sky, 923. It's up there for seven minutes, which is longer than a typical space station flyby, disappearing at about 930 in the southeast sky, going almost right overhead at about 88 degrees above the horizon. Great weather to get outdoors and check that out. Just a reminder, if you see something blinking that's going by, that's an airplane. The uh, space station does not blink. It's a fast-moving, solid, bright light moving across the sky. Some space station facts. Uh, it's the largest man-made object ever put into space. It's also the most expensive object ever uh, uh, built on Earth and then put into space, certainly. Uh, its speed is fast. It zips across the sky at five miles per second. And behind mo the Moon and Venus, it's the third brightest object visible in our nighttime sky. So check that out this evening. I feel like I've been showing you the same radar now for days and days on end. Severe thunderstorm watch, front range of the Rockies, high plains, Elsewhere, things are pretty quiet. Some showers in the Rockies, a couple of showers here and there in the upper Midwest and across the Mid-Atlantic states as well. We'll zip through the next few days quickly because there's not much to show you at all. In fact, there's nothing to show you on FutureCast uh, with Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday all bright and sunny days and warm days as well. We're looking for signs of change in the longer range. I, I do think there'll be a backdoor cold front, if you will, one that comes kind of out of the north, northeast, out of eastern Canada Saturday evening that might produce a passing shower. Um, but even if a couple of locations see a shower, it's not going to be enough to bust this emerging drought, certainly. It's not going to be much rain at all. The larger scale pattern as we go into next week um, is a cooler one because this heat ridge shifts a little bit farther to the west and becomes kind of centered out here. And that allows more of a northwesterly flow to develop in the eastern U.S. This will allow some cooler air to make inroads, but there's not going to be much moisture to be wrung out of the atmosphere by any sort of weather disturbances that come down in that northwesterly flow. So I just don't think there's going to be much rain next week. In fact, it's possible that we'll stay dry in many locations through June 9th, which is next Friday. So we're talking 10 days from now. Here's one run of one model uh, just to uh, kind of uh, illustrate what I'm talking about. This is uh, today's run of the GFS model showing total rain through, this is not this coming Thursday, but the following Thursday, June 8th, Friday, or uh, Thursday, I should say, at 8 p.m., basically nothing on this model uh, through next Thursday evening. Now, is this exactly right? Can't really say. But it just goes to show you gen generally what uh, kind of a pattern we will be in. I would not expect any sort of substantial amounts of rain, any sort of drought-busting rain or anything like that um, coming through the first week to perhaps 10 days or so of June. Coming up uh, on Wednesday evening, on the final day of May, uh, we'll look back, as we often do, on May 31st at May 31st, 1985, and our region's most famous tornado outbreak uh, with the 38-year uh, anniversary of that outbreak. We're only a couple years away from the 40-year anniversary of May 31st, 85. Uh, we'll also uh, do a fresh look at the overall June forecast. I just showed you kind of what the early June looks like. A little bit cooler next week, but also continued dry. We'll see how the whole month is likely to shake out with the updated monthly outlook for June on Wednesday evenings. Weather for Weather Geeks, short and sweet video tonight. Things are nice and quiet. Hope you and yours have a great Tuesday night. I'll see you back here on Wednesday.